I just wanted to make a video in response to a question I got. What would you say to friends and family who have good intentions, but they see your sensitivity as a weakness, like there's something to fix when you're just happily being yourself? What do you say to friends and family who mean well, who are seeing you as weak because you're sensitive? I'm gonna get sidetracked for a moment and tell you that Peru is absolutely incredible. We're about to enter this site, so I'll show you some of that at the end of the video. Now your response to this question is not gonna be what you expect, and that is to give whoever judges you, whether you are highly sensitive or not, their judgments. Yeah. Just let people have their judgments. Anytime we try to get people to understand us, to approve of us, to see us, hear us, get us, we're plugging in, especially as a highly sensitive, especially as an empath, that need for somebody else to approve of us or see us a certain way is a direct plug into their energy field. What happens is then we literally start siphoning energetically their beliefs, their ideas, their concepts about us because we are trespassing energetically by wanting to change their perception, by wanting to change them somehow. I'm not saying it's easy when somebody judges you, especially a loved one or family member. And what Linnea is saying is she's like happily who she is. She's happily highly sensitive. She feels great. And her family just doesn't get it, doesn't get her, and she wants to help them understand her. There are really two levels here. The first is inner, and that's what I'm talking about. And that's, that's to give people, energetically, give people the right to judge you. We all have the right to do whatever we want to do in the confines of our own minds. And what you think about me is none of my business. What others think of you is none of your business. You can make it your business. You can drain yourself trying to change people. You can drain yourself to trying to make people around you see you, get you, hear you. Or you can hand people, and this will give you so much energy back, so much life force back, so much power. To take your hands out in front of you and offer over energetically other people's opinions, everything they have to think about you. Give them permission. You want to judge me? Here you go. Your judgments are not mine. I give them back to you. Have a blast with your opinions. If you can be okay when others don't see you as okay, you will flourish. <sighs> it's so pretty out here. The bottom line is you will get so much more energy, life force, confidence, freedom back if you just hand other people's opinions back to them. And instead of trying to change those opinions, like they judge you, you feel them as an empath or highly sensitive and you're like, oh, this feels horrible. Let me try to change these and make them see me a different way. Or let me try to change myself so that their opinions change. No, you take those opinions, judgments, criticisms, ideas that they have sent your way and you give them back exactly as they are and give them permission energetically to judge you. You can judge me. You can think whatever you want about me. I don't think that about me, but you can. Feel the difference in your body when you let people, whoa, there is a massive, I don't know if that's a condor or what, but it's huge. It's incredible out here. I mean, look at this. I think that's a hawk. What's so interesting is hawk medicine is all about one-pointed focus. Instead of putting so much focus on other people's opinions, reorient yourself to your own knowing, to your own heart, to presence, to being yourself. Linnea says, I am happily highly sensitive living my life. And so keep happily living, living your life. I know it can be painful when others don't see you. They see you as something that you're not, especially family and friends. So part of it is, first of all, just giving them permission to judge you. And the second level of this is you might need to say something. There was a time in my life I needed to say something to a family member who was trying to protect me and she saw me as like vulnerable and all these things. And I said, I'm good. <laughs> I am solid. I'm a powerful woman. There's, n You don't need to protect me. 
I'm a strong, powerful soul. And she got it, that my strength doesn't look like a loud person yelling on a microphone or something. My power is soft, clear, poised, gentle, grounded, centered, whole. I love who I am. And I will not change who I am to fit into a world that's loud and boisterous just so that I feel like others aren't judging me. Hell no. The real work is, am I judging me? Am I loving me? Am I owning the real version of myself, the way I was created? So to wrap this up, basically, number one, let people have their own judgments. It will free you so much to just recognize that other people's judgments have zero, 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 zero to do with you. Take that in. Other people's judgments, ideas, beliefs have nothing to do with you. All it says is they are in the position of judgment right now. They are in the mindset of criticism right now. It's telling you more about them than about you. That's number one. So number two is to really own who you are. And if you need to speak up for yourself and say, I recognize that you're concerned for me and I want you to know I'm good. I love who I am. I'm happy in my life. I'm empowered. If you can't see that, that's not my job or my worry or concern. Judge me all you want. Just know that your judgments are inaccurate and have nothing to do with the truth of who I am. And then finally, I do want to say a third thing, and that is some people you'll need to put boundaries around because at first, especially, it can be very toxic to have constant criticism, judgment, people putting their agendas on you, especially when you're first entering the path. Wow, there is such a gorgeous horse coming this way. And there's oftentimes an opportunity to put distance, love people from a distance. Just because you're not around people who are draining your energy through their judgments and their ideas and them trying to change you or whatever it may be, just because you're keeping distance does not mean you don't love them. It means you're loving yourself until you're ready to love them more closely, if ever. Um, there are many people I had to cut out of my life when I started waking up to the truth of who I am. And there are many people I cut out for a while and then we came back together in a whole new way, in a much healthier way. One of the most draining things in the world is to believe that you'll be able to change those you love. It doesn't work like that. You can only love yourself deeply, accept yourself, and accept those you love as they are, even if their minds are limited and trapped in judgment. So thank you so much for your question, Linnea. I think many of us can relate to it. Let people do whatever they're gonna do in the confines of their own minds. Just don't take it on. It's not yours. So I hope that this serves you in some way. I love you all so much. If you got something from this video, give it a thumbs up, ding. And if you need help raising your frequency, make sure to grab the workshop, it's free below. All right, my friends, and if you haven't already subscribed, you can hit the subscribe button. I make videos on soul-centered life and soul-centered business. I'll see you in the next video. Let's go into the temple.